Hi guys, I'm back in the shop tonight. I'm working on a traco bucket. I want to put a thumb on my traco. It's been a project that I've had in mind for a long time, and I finally, I think I've got most of the parts that at least I need to start. came off of the old pin and it was to center one side of the bucket, okay? I cut this part in half and then I took an old socket, this is an old three quarter socket, I turned it down to the outside of the bucket diameter. I turned down the outside of this to the inside of the bucket diameter. I'm gonna weld these two together so that this will center my inch and three eighths pin. And this will actually hold this nut that I machined down. I'm gonna weld it to the pin so that when I stick the pin through, everything will be centered and the nut and this socket will keep the pin from rotating in the bucket, which is, you don't want it rotating in the bucket, you want it rotating in the arm of the traco, in the bushings. So that's why I'm going through these steps. The first step is to weld these two together. We're gonna do that. We'll tack it, make sure it's true enough for what I need it to do. Straighten it if we need to straighten it. We'll put this in the vise. I'll get it centered where I want it to center, and then we'll weld her up. There we go. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just tacking right now. I'm going to tack it in place. So I'm going to bring y'all back over here where I can finish welding it. So, what this is going to do. This is going to be mounted in the bucket of the Traco. This pin is going to slip through all of this. And then this nut is going to be welded onto this shaft. When you push the shaft all the way in, it'll, it'll keep the shaft from rotating. So it looks like it's lined up well enough. We can weld it. While that's cooling off, I'm going to get a grinder and I'm going to smooth these up. So these are going to be my, my thumb or, or part of it. I've got these that are going to weld onto the thumb. That's going to be what goes through, the pin goes through this. And then I got a bushing that's going to go into this. I'll capture it on the ends by drilling out the pin. But I don't know my total pin length yet, so I haven't cut it, but the pin will be shorter. But I milled a recess on these. If you can see that recess right there, it's not real large, but I milled a recess so that it fits in this hole. So I can weld that and keep it straight. So I'm gonna clean these up with a grinder, a flat wheel, and I'll get back to So I'm going to weld this one up and then I'll grind the other one and weld it up and get these parts ready.
guys there you are back with me all right i got it set up in the lathe i don't i hope y'all can see it good we're gonna try to machine off the welds oh i'm gonna pull you back just a little bit how's that so i can get to my buttons all right this lathe's a little loud but you can bear with me <laughs> perfect there was a deep there was a spot that was a little too deep right there where the weld was we got our machine down good enough to fit in there because i'm gonna weld the heck out of it when we get it in there so now what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna bring in the excavator and show y'all what i'm gonna do with all these parts all right guys i got you down here let me show you what we got this is the first piece we welded up it's the the socket with the the bushing it goes right in here like this okay we're going to kind of center it and then i haven't welded this yet but here's the nut it goes on the shaft and what we're going to do you stick the shaft ugh, dirty stick the shaft through these and it lines up with that hole and then your nut slips in and that keeps the pin from rotating once i weld it keeps the pin from rotating in the bucket where it's going to rotate is right here in the arm of the track hoe i'm going to leave this set up because this pin is my alignment pin and i'm going to tack these in three or four good places i'm going to take all this out and i'm going to weld it up that's how i plan on keeping the pin from rotating inside the bucket so now i'm going to Tack this right quick. If my machine is have ground over it. It should have ground now. Pin still rotates freely. Let me tack this side. goes in and out free there's no binding perfectly what I wanted now I have to weld it up all right guys that's gonna actually be about it for tonight because I'm on about two percent battery on this GoPro we will start again in the morning but i've got a fair amount of work accomplished so i'm happy with it see y'all in the morning